To demonstrate how GitHub Actions and workflows work in practice, I am going to be using a fork of the Cypress to do MVC repo. After you have forked the repo, click on the Actions tab. In order for the workflow to work, you need to accept the warning message. Anytime you fork a repo with workflows in it, you need to enable them manually as a security measure. You should not enable workflows from a forked repo unless you fully understand what the workflows are doing. Our workflow is triggered within GitHub anytime we push to our repo. I have already made a small change and will now push up that change to trigger the workflow. Now that our workflow is complete, let's inspect what happened. First, GitHub runs a setup job. This prepares our workflow and pipeline. Next, the GitHub checkout action was run. This action checks out our repo into our pipeline so that the rest of our actions have access to our app. After the GitHub checkout action is complete, the Cypress run is executed. First, the action uses Yarn to install all of our dependencies. Then, it runs our custom build script in our package.json file to compile our application. Once the app is compiled, it then runs our custom start script, which serves our application with a small HTTP server. Finally, it runs our test script, which executes our Cypress tests in headless mode. As you can see, each green check mark denotes a passing test. The run is now finished and all of our 28 tests are now passing. GitHub then runs a post checkout and complete job, which cleans up our pipeline and terminates it. 